school board member and superintendent comments. Start down there with this morning. Okay, let's go first tonight. <clears throat> Thank you to everyone for being here tonight. I'd just like to start my comments with we just had Teacher Appreciation Week and National Teacher Day. And like I said to the Board of Supervisors a couple of weeks ago, we can all think back to that one teacher or in some cases many teachers that positively impacted our life and made us who we are today. So I just want to thank all our teachers for all they do that I know they work hard and it's been a tough couple of years and I don't feel like we can give them enough recognition. So. Thank you to all the teachers. Um, then I'd like to say congratulations to Dabney and all the art winners um, and their parents for bringing them out tonight. We always like seeing the kids and what they're doing and they really are amazing artists. So um, congrats to all of those. And as for Mr. Umstead, I always appreciate when he brings his concerns forward and I do know we're working hard and our kids do deserve a good track. So hopefully we can come up with a resolution. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Uh, I'd just like to also um, thank you to uh, Dabney College for the years of service and uh, support to the community they've given over the last 60 years. Um, also, congratulations to the VSBA Art Contest finalists. Thank you to them and congratulations. Also, congratulations to the seniors. Um, I saw it on Facebook and also the, the school page, the, um, the Facebook page. Um, we had several seniors signing, seniors sign with different colleges, especially our very own Levi, the Roanoke College, right? Yes. Roanoke College, congratulations, Levi. Um, also, I, to echo Mr. Rumstead's um, remarks, I agree. Uh, we need to do what's best for our students, and he's right. We need to take care of the students and do what's best for them. Perfect. Mr. Wilson. I just want to start off by thanking everybody for coming tonight. It's good to see faces out here. Um, I also want to thank all of our teachers, all of our faculty, all of the uh, maintenance people, the bus drivers. It takes everyone to make everything happen and thank everyone for all their hard work um, as the year's coming close to an end. I um, also want to thank Dabney for all of their support and help throughout the years. Um, I went to Dabney for two years and it's a great place to go and really enjoyed it. Um, our art finalists, uh, Mr. Skidmore, Ms. Williams, Ms. Gibson, Ms. Snook, and Ms. Wolf, want to congratulate all of them and uh, look forward to seeing more of their great artwork in the future. I know they will succeed. And uh, Mr. Umstead, uh, thank you very much for coming out and speaking tonight. I have been in uh, conversations with uh, Mr. Tyree about the track. Um, don't mean to go out and steal his uh, win tonight, but I know he wants to talk some about this track project. I've been, been talking with him a good bit, and uh, we are proposing a, a new track at um, AHS at the high school, and uh, there's a lot of original things in the uh, bid proposal that were unnecessary, we feel, and it was just going to be replacing material in kind, which was kind of wasteful. And uh, I spoke to Essex County Public Schools about two months ago. They had a track project out to bid that is almost identical to what we're proposing. Their bid came in at $800,000, so half of what ours was. So we hope to be somewhere in that same area. So we just thank everybody for coming. Thank you. Ms. Jefferson. I'd like to start off by thanking everyone for coming out tonight. <clears throat> Thanks to all our teachers. Um, we really appreciate them. To all our art, win art winners, art, I can't speak tonight. All of our art participants and finalists, congratulations to them, and happy anniversary to them. Thank you, Mr. Uh Yeah, I'd just like to echo um, everybody. Thanks for coming out. Uh, teachers Week. Uh, definitely want to recognize all of our teachers. They have uh, always been so impactful in our community. I think back to many teachers I had and the impact that they they played in my life and uh, I think of them positively and, and often so I'd like to say thank you to all our teachers out there that are doing the same to our children. Uh, the Dabney as well I'm a, an alumni from Dabney a, a road runner and I will tell you it's you really I can't tell you how valuable it is to have it in our backyard. Um, I see it a little bit more so than most in my line of work where where people trying to buy houses that you know, maybe have had to go to a four-year university and borrow money for four years and um, you know that can be cut in half 
um, right off the bat with a with a resource in, in Dabney. And, and I've talked to many people at Dabney and guidance counselors and says, if you don't get a scholarship to Dabney um, as a local student, you're, you're probably just not filling out the paperwork and doing the, the due diligence to get a scholarship. There's so much free money out there to go to Dabney for our, for our local kids. It's just, it's unbelievable. And 60 years is, I hope we have 660,000 more years of them. It's, it's just great. Uh, congratulations to the winners as well uh, for our art. That's, as you saw it over there, it's amazing what our kids can do at young ages. Uh, when, when Mr. Ross sent those out, I, I thought he was sending stuff from, um, we were looking at doing something from professional artists and he was asking us our, you know, what we thought about, uh, you know, I guess contracting out an artist to do something at first and then I read the email a little bit more specific and realized it was our students doing that artwork. So it was uh, amazing. Um, I am also want to congratulate Levi along with his fellow uh, student athletes. I saw it all um, across the board. Uh, Facebook, you know, I think it was four or five different um, students that, you know, got college uh, signed to go play or continue their careers at college. Um, female athletes, and I think back to maybe what we did with uh, the weight room improvements, maybe we're already starting to see some of that impact in our female student athletes um, going on to play for, uh, college. Um, I think that was one of the best things that we've done as far as athletic improvements and, and making that more female friendly atmosphere to go into and hopefully uh, we will continue to see more female athletes uh, take advantage of that and, and go on and play at uh, the college level. Uh, Mr. Armstead, thank you for coming in. I, I always do enjoy listening to you talk. Uh, I think you provide uh, a lot of insight and, and, and food for thought for sure. Um, I, I know that the track will get done and I think we, whoever, you know, the final board that makes that decision will definitely have uh, the responsibility and, and, and they will, you know, be very responsible and, you know, well thought out how they do it. The last thing I want to do is um, just say basically, I know this isn't quite my last meeting, but, uh, you know, I, there may be a, another meeting, I think, in June. Um, I did choose not to um, seek... Um, appointment to the new school board and that was not and it's not that I didn't enjoy this I loved every minute of it um, I think we've got a great system in place but it was more of a personal decision for me where I adopted a one-year-old so I'm uh, more time at home and I thought about it long and hard and I was like man that's a tough decision and today when I came here it, was, it kind of was reiterated when I went to leave uh, uh, Eli reached out and was uh, kind of pouting about me leaving so I was like yeah, I made the right decision so I wish everybody on the board um, luck as that decision get, gets made and I think everybody on this board would be a fine candidate for the, the new board moving forward and um, I thank everybody for all their support. Another thing, I just one last thing I want to thank is uh, when Jacob asked me originally to think about doing this, uh, I, one of my biggest fear was you know people in the community and how they would act at meetings and I will say that Allegheny County did not disappoint one bit. Um, We've had numerous people come speak at our meetings over the last year or eight months or so, and I thought everybody spoke with passion, with respect, and treated everybody with dignity. And that is uh, that's a huge testament to where we live, uh, because it's not like that um, in other places. So I think to everyone that came out and spoke and presented their options and their opinions, I appreciated every single one of them. And I thank you from the bottom of my heart that you did it with professionalism and respect. So that's it. Thank you. Mr. Francis. Hello, everybody. Uh, I, too, want to congratulate Tabby for this. They have made a profound difference <coughs> in this community. We continue to do that. And the artists, I think one of the board members already said when they when they got the paper, you know who to vote on. It was hard to see that they weren't professional artists. They were that good, and and you could see the parents and the family was here, how that they were beaming, they were proud of their kids, and their teachers were proud of the kids for what they've done. It just goes to show you what a great bunch of kids we have here. They're not only artists, they're scholars, they're athletes. 
he gave 100%, and you know, we thank for that. And same with our teachers. You know, I know it's teacher appreciation, and I've told you guys many times how much I personally appreciate, and I know the board does, appreciates the effort that y'all do here, okay? I think you heard every one of you should get that uh, ABC award because this has been a tough two years. Tough two years. Between the COVID, the consolidation of emergency the boards, uh, school systems, you've been asked to do a lot, and you've stepped up, and I'm so proud of you. Administration, same thing. With all of you guys have done an awesome job. You've had double workload, you know, and, and nobody complained about it. You just did enough. We appreciate that. Uh, as far as Bob, I too appreciate his comment. If, if you know, you talked about a mistake what made 20 years ago, but the track up there. If more people would, would be more active and come up there at that podium and say, listen, you know, let's do it this way. Because sometimes, you know, we're not infallible up here. Sometimes we get in a rut, like we get focused on, let's do the track at Allegheny. Well, then people mention, well, let's look at your track up there. And you try to figure out which is the best for the kids and for the county. I mean, you know, we've got to answer to the county. So that's appreciated. Also, I believe it's in the National Nurses Month. So we've got a lot of nurses here. Well, maybe not right here, but I mean, in the school system, we appreciate it. They serve a great purpose, keeping our kids healthy, and you know, we have the little problems, and sometimes they're not so little. They're there to, to uh, pick them up, manage them up, or take them, you know, make sure to go to the doc hospital or the doctor's bed. And we appreciate that very much. Just thank you. Good heavens, just thank you all of you for all the work you do and the effort you put in. Thank you very much. Thank you. Mr. Counts. Uh, first, I'd like to uh, congratulate Dabney on their 60th anniversary. Uh, the stuff that they offer to uh, Covington and Allegheny uh, high schools, are, it's just beyond measure. Um, I know that I thoroughly enjoyed uh, being part of their governor's school program, and I know that there's a lot of people that are graduating this year that are going to be coming to Daphne, and they're going to be in good hands. Uh, very top-of-the-line educators for uh, that community college. Um, I would also like to congratulate the uh, art contestant uh, finalists. I can't do art, um, but obviously they can, and they are very good at it. And it, it's good to have different talents within the school system and to have a display. Uh, for the public comment, debate is good. New ideas are good, um, and they should always be welcomed. It is important that we get the track done in a timely manner and that we make sure that it is perfect for every single athlete. They've deserved it. They've worked hard. And but the next meeting in June, the senior class will be graduating. But I would like to say that they have went through a lot. The COVID years, not knowing if you're going to have sports or not, masking days, all that stuff. But we came out resilient. And I'd like to congratulate every single person that is going to be graduating on uh, on June 4th. Thank you. Thank you. <clears throat> uh, I would just kind of like to reiterate what everyone else has said. Uh, congratulations to our art students and congratulations to our art teachers. Um, I was a uh, former art student at Allegheny High School and went on to be a fine arts major in college. So. I appreciate everything you all do. Um, as far as uh, Mr. Umstead and the track, appreciate Mr. Umstead coming out to speak with us. There have actually been a couple of studies done at the track and the cost of what would have cost to make the track at the middle school correct and how much it would cost to uh, um, redo the track at the high school and all of those things have kind of been uh, thought out. Um, you know, we, we did get a really high estimate uh, at one of the uh, one of our meetings back in the winter, um, but we also realized that there are things that we could go back and we could use that could be could be reused the different uh, event spaces and things. And um, while I was not on the Allegheny track team, Mr. Littleton was, 
and uh, we looked at uh, some different things and uh, met up with Mr. Bartley and talked with him and uh, Mr. Tyree. We went and met him out at the site and kind of looked around and uh, you know decided to change a few things. So we wanted to see if we could save some money in a few different ways. And so uh, there had definitely uh, been a lot of behind the scenes work. I know that Mr. Tyree has worked on that with. Uh, with the architects and engineers and things, so uh, there's a little bit more than meets the eye on that project. Uh, for our man Levi down there, Levi, we sure appreciate you helping us out all year. Um, you know, it, it's we we kind of take Levi and and Abby, our last uh, student rep, we kind of take them for granted. But um, to sit up here and, and uh, express their feelings in front of a group of people, in front of adults and educators and uh, the superintendent and, and directors of education and all of these people and um, you know Levi has just done a great job just to stand up and um, his maturity level is, is great and uh, it's exciting that he'll be uh, continuing on as, at Rono College as a student athlete and um, this is Levi's last meeting as a student but we hope that you will come back for the June meeting uh, after graduation and, and join us then so our, our last two um, board members have been student, they're going to be college student athletes. So uh, that's, they leave big shoes to fill. Um, but Levi, we always appreciate you uh, standing up for your students and, and uh, your classmates. And, and uh, I've always enjoyed what you do with your extracurriculars and, and uh, the successes that you have had um, as a student. Uh, congratulations to Dabney. Uh, the 60th anniversary is exciting. I'm uh, really looking forward to some of the new partnerships and stuff that we can do as a consolidated school system. Uh, I think there's a real, uh, there's a, a great line of communication between our school system and Dabney, and I think it could be even stronger. Uh, it could be the strongest it's ever been. So I look forward to seeing how we can collaborate to better educate the students of the Allegheny Highlands. Congratulations to uh, Tammy Scruggs, Marie Fitzpatrick, and Jonathan Eric for being uh, appointed to the Covington uh, portion of the new Allegheny Highlands School Board. Um, as you all know, six of the seven of us put our names in the hat uh, to, to fill the four seats um, that are available to Allegheny County. And uh, I, don't, I don't think that any one of us uh, felt like we were competing against each other. I think everybody uh, that has put their name in there just feels like that uh, we want what's best for the new school system, and um, we hope that they'll uh, look to our board uh, in our uh, history uh, to, to go on and, and make good decisions for a new joint board. Uh, I totally understand Mr. Helmetaller and why he didn't put his name in there, but I think if things would have been a little different in his house. He definitely would have been willing to do it as well. But we have this board has really worked together as a team, and uh, I think we've it's been great the uh, past couple of years. We, everybody's gotten along. Uh, we haven't always agreed on everything, but we've all uh, really gotten along and, and been able to look at things through each other's eyes, and, and that's what's really important. When you focus on the students, and that's what uh, your main objective is, uh, to make sure you do what's right for the students, I think it makes this job a lot easier. And, um, I really applaud everybody for doing that. I'm proud to, to be a part of this board. I'm very proud to be the chairman of, of such a great board of people, and uh, I appreciate the opportunity you all have given me to do that. Um, I think that's to tomorrow night's meeting. Uh, just a reminder to everyone that tomorrow night's meeting uh, of the Board of Supervisors, they will be choosing four people uh, of the ten people that put their names in. And uh, I believe that meeting is at six tomorrow. These meetings are typically seven, but I think tomorrow's meeting is seven. Uh, so good luck to everyone on, on our board. Uh, I hope they change their minds and we all get put on it. <laughs> um, all right, Superintendent Hawkman. Well, Ed, thank you. It's going to sound like I'm saying several of the same things this evening, but I um, just wanted to take a moment and again congratulate Dabney. It's wonderful that they've made such an incredible contribution to our community for so very long. 
um, and to thank our students who've done so well with their arts. I too was very, very impressed by the art entries this year and I always appreciate the visual arts. It's not necessarily my gift, but I really appreciate what other people can do with that, with that skill set. Pretty incredible work from our students. We are enjoying a time of a lot of success. Uh, this is a time of success in spring sports, um, you know, and, and that's part of what Mr. Umstead was sharing with us this evening is, you know, the need to support our athletes, and of course we all want to do that. Um, we have a lot of students doing a lot of hard work and getting rewarded for that hard work. We just came through academic awards at the high school, um, some athletic signings that have been mentioned this evening, some really great accomplishments on behalf of our, of our kiddos, but it's also important to recognize all those students this time of the year. There's nothing quite like May as an educator. Uh, there's, there's a lot going on. Um, and this is the first uh, somewhat normal May in a while. And, and we can all feel that. So we really appreciate every staff member on our team and all the different contributions that they make. Um, for our students, our staff, our families, there's a lot of testing going on. There's end of the year activities. There's preparation for graduations. There's preparation for next year already. It's a really, really busy time for our team. And we really appreciate the support of our community and all of that work. And sincerely, um, I very much appreciate being a part of a team this fine. It's, it's a really incredible experience. Um, we are very blessed with a school board that supports those efforts, and we really appreciate all of you all for, for sharing those words of kindness, because it really does matter, particularly in these very busy seasons. Um, and we really appreciate that you appreciate our community so well. So. Um, just a lot of words of thanks, but it's a good time of the year for that. It is a tremendously busy time, and it's good to take a moment and realize what's been accomplished. Thank you so much. Thank you.